The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is almost here. Whatever your expectations for the show might be, one thing everyone's curious about is the story's main villain, Sauron. There's been a lot of speculation regarding his identity, which is clearly being kept deliberately mysterious. Personally, I wouldn't be surprised if all the potential Saurons we've seen so far, the slim shady figure, Meteor Man, or even Halbrand, were all red herrings. But rather than speculating on who he might be, in this video I want to talk about why I'm excited to see Sauron brought to life in a Second Age adaptation in particular, and why I think he has the potential to be one of the all-time great villains in television and film, if they do his character justice. Which, of course, may not happen. But I'm willing to give them a chance and we'll watch the show before judging it. Anyway, just a heads up, there's a few spoilers ahead in case you haven't read the appendices to Lord of the Rings or the Silmarillion. I won't be spoiling any major events, but still, if you'd like to go into Rings of Power completely in the dark, then tread carefully. So here's why I'm excited for Sauron. See, in the Lord of the Rings proper, that is, the story of Frodo and the Fellowship's quest to destroy the One Ring, Sauron was the main antagonist but he wasn't really an on-screen character, and in both the movies and the books, he only had a handful of actual lines in moments such as when Pippin heard his voice in the Palantir. Ultimately, he was more of a symbol than a full-fledged character, a very powerful and memorable symbol of evil and tyranny, but nevertheless, he couldn't really hope to have the same impact and popularity as a character as, say, a villain like Darth Vader, who had so many iconic moments and lines as an active on-screen figure. On that note, it's interesting to observe that, unlike in the movies which generally portray him as a flaming eyeball, in the books it's made explicitly clear that Sauron does have a physical body, as Gollum even speaks of seeing his four-fingered hand. We just never see it because he never leaves the Tower of Barad-dûr. That's right, Sauron is a total shut-in in the Third Age, and that's why he ends up being more of a looming menace than an active on-screen character. And while that makes him stand out in a way, it is far from what might be called his glory days as a villain. Which is where the Second Age, and consequently Rings of Power, comes in. See, Sauron, being a Maya or an angelic being like Gandalf, has been around literally since the beginning of time, and thus he plays a significant role in all the three ages of Tolkien's Middle-earth. In the first one, he is the loyal servant and lieutenant of the original Dark Lord, Morgoth. But in the Second Age, after Morgoth's defeat, Sauron picks up where his master left off and takes up the mantle of the Dark Lord himself. And unlike in the Third Age, where, as we already established, he was a complete shut-in, in the Second Age, Sauron is extremely proactive and travels everywhere in a proper physical form. Not only that, but in the First and Second Ages, back when he still had his original body, Sauron was actually an adept shapeshifter, meaning he won't always look like the Sauron we see in the prologue of Peter Jackson's Fellowship of the Ring. See, in the Second Age, which Rings of Power will cover, Sauron is a manipulative seducer, preying on the temptations of men and elves. He's like the snake in the book of Genesis, offering gifts that are ultimately poison chalices. And in order to enact this role, he assumes what is called his fair form, and infiltrates both elven and human societies to corrupt them from within, ingratiating himself with some very notable figures of the Second Age, such as the elfsmith Celebrimbor. Yes, the same Celebrimbor that appears in the Middle-earth video games Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. But don't expect him to resemble his portrayal in those games. I actually wish he did to a certain extent, cause I'm definitely not sold on Celebrimbor's look in the Rings of Power so far, but I'll save my definite judgement for when I actually see the actor's performance. But back to Sauron. Basically, the point is, Sauron's evil deeds and feats and accomplishments in the Second Age far surpass anything he managed to pull off during the story of Frodo and the Ring in the Third Age, where he was honestly past his prime. Don't get me wrong, he is a powerful entity in any age, with great strength of arms and large hosts at his beck and call, but in the story that Rings of Power will cover, his most powerful weapon is actually his mesmerizing charisma and his silver tongue, that is, his ability to persuade others with eloquent speeches and compelling rhetoric. Seriously, Second Age Sauron can talk almost anyone into almost anything, and the mayhem he incites with his machinations alone could be absolutely glorious to behold, in a really dark but also really fascinating way. 
So yeah, that's why I'm both really excited to see Sauron in the Rings of Power series, but also concerned whether they'll manage to nail his larger-than-life character. As far as I know, we still don't even know for sure who will be playing him, but I'd say it should definitely be a rather attractive, and more importantly, extremely charismatic actor, who will have very big shoes to fill indeed. But like I said, if they do manage to do him justice, then Sauron could easily end up being one of the greatest villains in the history of television and film. With that being said, I feel we're gonna have to wait a while to get a real glimpse of him. In fact, I could easily see him only showing up at the very end of Season 1. Maybe even only in Season 2, but I think wrapping up Season 1 with a long-awaited reveal of Sauron would be a great way to end the first season and get people really excited for the second one. But we'll see what happens. I have some concerns and fears about the show in general, but I usually try to be cautiously optimistic, so here's hoping we get a good show with a great villain that Tolkien fans deserve. Anyway, that's my two cents. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel, if you're as excited for Sauron as me, and what your hopes and fears for his portrayal in Rings of Power are. And if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as I'm hoping to make more videos on Rings of Power once the episodes start rolling in. And if you're into other fantasy stories in different mediums like video games and such then I've got some content on that as well. Alright, that's all for now, so thanks for watching and as the elves say, ten enomenti elva.